we will start to create an invoice with Vue.js. So let us continue creating project. We will open our previously created folder view project just right click and open with the code you can see our project we will clean them a little bit so that we can start from scratch so first of all we will delete our hello world dot view that's a component we don't want that we will just delete and we will clean our okay in the main js we just wanted to keep the same thing so up dot view we will remove the hello world and the message image we have to put a div there otherwise it will complain so, so we have cleaned everything so we will start from here i will start the server so type npm run serve so it will start our development server i will open the browser by clicking uh, control and click it will open in our browser the output so you can see there is nothing in our dom that's a document object model so we will add a data this is the role of view so data is a function that returns all the data okay here we put all our data that should be accessible from this component we are going to develop an invoice for that we need a company name so i put the company name as code with an op also the company has to have an address so i'll put address that's a small letter that we had to put it in a small letter okay so address is www dot code with an op so now we have our two data there that's a company name and the address uh, one more thing we have to do is we have to just add a bootstrap to it so just go to google and search for bootstrap just to copy the link only this much to the min.css open index.html just above title just above title tag just add uh, and close the tag okay now we have added bootstrap to it bootstrap is a css library you know we add our basic div that's the main div we put an id of invoice and a class of container fluid now we will put another div for our heading so these properties these data go in the heading so we have a div a class of header and text center so everything else everything in the in this class will align in center so we add one h1 tag so in this h1 tag we will show the company name that's a code with an op that sort will come there just copy code with me just copy the company name and just uh, so to output it we need to have double curly braces put double curly braces there and uh, inside it just add our data so you can see that our data has come there now likewise we will add our address so for the address i'll add a p tag that's a paragraph tag p tag and likewise we will add two curly braces and inside it we will add our address add RESS. so saving it will bring the address there so you can see the h1 tag has our company name and p tag has address and now i'll show you how we can add some css to it so first of all i will select the body margin of 6 pixel now i select the class header for that we have to put just a dot dot means it's a class so dot header i'll change the width to 100 percentage we add a margin of uh, around a margin of zero percentage and background color blue color 
so that's a 52 comma 52 comma 122 122 yeah we have got a blue color now I will add some padding uh, around 9 pixel yeah okay now I'll add a color of white color so the first one I is blue okay I have got a white color there now I'll go and select the h1 tag so in the header class we have the h1 tag so class header element h1 so we will change the font size to 3.3 em so we have made our invoice header tomorrow we will continue with the invoice application or oh, in the next video i will continue with the invoice so you can see our data is there we'll check with the what is the that is yeah we have two curly braces now we have only two so it one now we have only one so it shows an error so we have to have two curly braces having three or more than two will give us an error likewise we have address also it's the same thing two curly braces and your property it will output our data remember to add the bootstrap uh, CSS we will be working um, more in that CSS file so we will go to the development tool this is the tool where we check for any other errors so we have the view tab there just click on the view tab you can see the data is there you can see all the data here so even you can change it from here I'll change the company name to Facebook yeah it's suddenly it changed likewise the address also I'll just change it to Facebook when I save yeah, it, working in Vue.js is very easy you can see all your data in the development tool our development not for production in the production time we will close this